welcome to everybody. We appreciate your joining us. We love to have you. We talk to customers in the marketplace. What we're seeing is this balance between short-term needs of looking at things like in areas like cash management and how do I get a short-term uh, value, but they're really looking also long-term and asking questions like, I don't do a lot of throwaway work. I want to be able to do something that impacts value now, but does something over the long term. And I know you talk to customers two or three a day. Is that consistent with what SAP is seeing? Yes, definitely, John. In fact, um, due to the crisis, uh, customers are now focusing on, hey, you know, how do I get over this hump that um, we are all on? Um, by putting something in place that gives them cash visibility, um, and also, you know, whatever the bank balances are, they need to have access to, to, the, to the cash as soon as they can. Uh, but at the same time, they want to use this as an opportunity to lay foundation for, okay, how do I deal with my receivables uh, in the future so that, you know, the cash manager has always up-to-date information in front of them, or mm -hmm. maybe how they can centralize their payments activities and um, do um, their forecasting around what the payables could look like in, in the short term, near term, long term, et cetera, much better. With these solutions, we're going to be looking at bank communication, bank communication management, so we can actually batch those payments and doing the thresholds of the different approvals, however the company needs to do that, making sure we're bringing that into our cash management and all those payments are security going out, securely going out the door through multi-bank connectivity. As you can see in the little section of our digital core of SIP, treasury management, we're gonna be talking about the payments and the cash management with the connection of the multi-connectivity process, this three-step that we're going through in these webinars, is the clarity and the ability to take an incremental approach or do it all at once. And as for HANA, implement, you know, you ought to take a look at this. You know, if you're early in your um, S for HANA implementation, take a look at Treasury. Really focus in and, and make sure you're taking advantage of all in the tools that are there. So thank you.